we've learned in, in CATCH in reviewing patients over these 17 years is that it's important to listen to the patient's story and look for disconnects between what they think they have, often osteoarthritis, and what we believe they have, and then do that thorough comprehensive exam, musculoskeletal exam. Nothing can change it, change the value of that. Putting those together with now the laboratory tests can give us a good sense of where that person's journey will be untreated. Because we do know that treatment early can change that trajectory tremendously so that people can be better within two to three months as opposed to six to nine months. In terms of what we've learned in CATCH, in the way the patients are assessed and, and picked up and treated, it varies considerably from the general population. And we know that from the population data that people have done, for instance, in the, in the administrative databases of the health systems, like Ontario, for instance, where people will have six to nine months of symptoms before a diagnosis is first made in that, in that group. In CATCH, that has been re reduced significantly to about 5.1 months. I don't know how I use 5.1 months, but about five months, which is really a significant difference. One can imagine that the disease, the process that you had at the beginning was one disease and what you have three months later, six months later, 12 months later is a different disease. And that's borne out by treating early and treating completely. Kind of like what I tell patients, like, like having cancer. When you find the lesion early, before it has, you're much more successful and likely to have a successful outcome than otherwise. And we are all affected by our body and our experiences. So if you're in a stressful situation or a critical situation or a physiologic stressful situation, those all have effects on the immune system. There's a study done many years ago looking at university students before their oral exams and looking at their immune function and not surprisingly was affected. So yeah, we know that physiologic and emotional stresses have an effect on the immune system and that can have an effect not only on the beginning of the disease, but flares that may occur later on in your, in your course. Patients are often inquiring, what could have caused this? We didn't do anything wrong. I eat well, I don't smoke and all that sort of thing. Well, we know that emotional and physiologic stresses can have a role to play. So when we think of physiologic stress, we're usually talking about milestones. I was in a big car accident. I had a major heart attack. I got divorced, got married, I had a kid. Uh, these are uh, physiologic changes. So early menopause or a difficult menopause or an un, un, um, expected menopause because you've had surgery, uh, you know, it lost your ovaries or something like that, can be those physiologic stresses. They're not to be discounted, but they are, they are what they are. And we, and we put that in the context of your presentation as a male, a female, a younger person, an older person, a person with comorbidities, other illnesses, some of those other illnesses may also be of an autoimmune nature. So those tell us holistically who you are and how best we can manage you.